make art dangerous again. Like Twain roasting the KKK at the height of its powers, calling them cowards who only find courage in a crowd with other half men under masks again. Like Chopin pondering a world without men, that greater happiness and freedom could be found when a woman wasn't bound to a husband and his last name again. Like Hughes, too, seeing America, acknowledging what Whitman wouldn't, and making sure the nation read his page for English B, that its blinders were torn off, and that it had to admit that black people were less free again. Like Guthrie arming himself with plain spoken speech against fascists and greedy capitalists who were willing to let the poor starve in alleys and ditches just so they could keep lining their pockets again. Like Ginsburg howling against conformists to save the best minds of his generation from those who'd crush their spirits and dreams and keep them imprisoned by rules in a suburban hellscape again. Like Hendrix setting fire to his guitar, literally and metaphorically, when he blistered the star-spangled banner at Woodstock, raising awareness to bombing overseas and injustice at home again. And like Banksy, still creating with a vilified medium in the faces of closed-minded squares, forcing them to look directly at what's wrong with the world and the authoritarians who choose to keep art in museums and the public ignorant again. So pick up your pens, guitars, brushes, your spray paint. Keep up the good fight with words instead of fists. And let's raise hell so that we don't end up living there, so we can keep the promise alive, so one day things will truly be great again.